welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel and happen to stumble by, I'm your girl Bella and I would totally love if you join me on my YouTube adventures. So click on the subscribe button, hit that little bell, and let's be friends. Hi guys. Hey everybody. Happy Monday and happy June 1st. Okay, if you are new to my channel and don't know this about me, Mondays are my absolute favorite days of the week. Yes, that's right. But you know what's even better? When it is a Monday and the first day of the month, that is the icing on the cake. Why? Because it's a whole new month, whole new beginning, fresh start, fresh week, all new opportunities, all new adventures. You never know what's around the corner. You never know what's going to happen. And I just love, love to have the expectation of something amazing and like magical that can happen because life changes in an instant. So today's a really, really good day. Sun is shining. I'm here with you guys. For those of you that stopped by, thank you so much. I love you guys. I hope you had an amazing, amazing weekend. So today I want to do something really different, really, really different. I want you to wait till the end of the video. I'm going to decorate my mantle in two very, very, very different styles. Okay. They're both for summer, but one is a summer neutral look and one is a coastal theme. And I want you to vote. I want you to vote. I want you to cast your vote down in the description box and you tell me which style do you like for my room. Uh, so that'll be kind of fun, kind of interactive. So with further ado, I'm going to flip this camera that way and I will show you all the new things I have done and we will discuss what I have planned. And then I'm going to do some decorating and then I'll show you the final of both looks and then you guys vote. So wait till the very end of the video and then you can vote. Okay guys, so we're here in the family room and I just want to show you what I have been up to and what I have been doing. So uh, from the day we moved into this house, I had that grate right there, the rod iron gate with the scroll and everything. Uh, hung on the fireplace and I loved it. Sorry about that. Let me move you over. And also uh, what I had on either side is these little round um, arched mirrors. Now I put them together and you can see there. I just put one, um, uh, one a little higher and one a little lower. They're not where they used to be. So they are, you know, just different because I wanted to fill the wall in. So that was my first thing. Now, the second thing is I want to put a painting up here. And I'm going to put a painting up in both the looks so you'll see wh where I'm getting at. Now, this painting here, which I'm going to put up right now, I'm going to do this to music. I'm going to put some music on. I've already cleaned off my mantle. I got all my stuff organized here. And I'm just going to plug away and um, decorate it. Uh, to music and that'll be look number one and I'll talk about look number one when I'm done with look number one I will talk about it and then I'm going to take it all down and do look number two so let's get started okay friends let's decorate I love this painting okay it's from a store called Boucler here in Canada um, it's a few years old so I don't know if you'll be able to find it but I'm sure you could find similar paintings like that this is such an easy breezy fireplace. Honestly, guys, there's not much to it. Um, I did struggle a little bit here, and you're going to see in a minute. I wanted to hide those little blocks, those little uh, wood blocks that I have put my, um, those little concrete things on. And I just couldn't get it right. And you'll see here, I kind of changed my mind in a little bit. I had originally done four garlands, four cascading um, picks. I guess they're cascading picks. But I don't know, it just didn't seem right, it didn't seem airy enough. So I took two of them out, put them on the other side. You'll see right now. And I think it looks much, much better that way because it's a little airier and a little lighter. And that's what I want in feel. I want it to look airy and light. 
Um, just to hide the blocks, I used two uh, greenery picks that I've kind of bent and maneuvered, you know, just play with them. They're, these are great and easy to play with. So that's what you'll see here. Okay, guys, this is look number one. I'm going to take you off the tripod and show you what I did and give you some more detailed explanation of why I did this. It is very, very, very neutral, but it has a summertime feel because the summer for me in decor wise is supposed to be airy, breezy, very, very casual, not too fussy because it's summer and we are outside most of the time enjoying the amazing weather, enjoying, you know, barbecues and picnics. And the last thing we want to do is have um, th too many things to clean, personally. That, that's for me anyways. So I like a very easy, breezy, kind of simple look in the summer. That's what I really love in the summer. So I'm going to take you off the tripod right now. You'll get a better look. And I'm going to kind of describe everything in detail because I really want you to see those in detail because they are amazing. Okay, guys, I want you to get a really good look at the wall itself where the fireplace is. And you can see there on the bottom of the fireplace. I'm going to keep those lanterns there. Now, I love how this looks with the wrought iron gate on this side and the two little kind of picture windows, picture mirrors over there that kind of look like windows. Okay, this is what I put. Uh, here are these candle holders. They're so nice. They got that like chippy look, really kind of casual, you know, just easy breezy and the colors tie in perfect with my Magnolia painting. I love this painting. I love the texture on it. Um, if you can tell, it's like raised and it's got like little squares in it and, and the colors are just perfect. These are kind of the colors that I lean towards anyways. I love grays and taupes and a little bit of brown in my decor. And then on this side here, um, going with the summer theme also are these like concrete... I don't know what you would call them, like garden. They almost look like something you would find in a garden. And then I just added lots and lots of cascading greenery. And this beautiful vase that I have with these fresh, they look like almost fresh from the garden picked uh, peonies that are sitting in the faux rocks with water. And and this is a fake, uh, obviously a faux, faux florals because it would never be able to keep <laughs> florals for a long time. So this is look number one, and I think it's really nice. It's a very, very neutral, and it's simple. Simple, casual, yet elegant. Guys, this is one of my favorite looks. I love the beach. I cannot explain how much I love the beach. And I know the painting's crooked. Don't worry, I'm going to fix it. If you're interested in these candle holders and the vase, they're from Home Goods, And I know they still have these. I know they still have the shape and all these vases because they bring them back pretty much every summer. And I'm just playing around. Okay, guys, here is a totally, totally different look. Now, I'm going to tell you, a little secret. This painting might seem a little glam to some people because of the silver, but I'm going to show you something. Um, this stripe right here, the very textured one, really reminds me of sand and the beach. And if you're a beach lover like me, you know that chippy white paint glistening off the water, which is the silver, the grays in the weathered wood, and that color of sand is exactly beach. So that's why I decided to use this uh, painting that I have. And then I had these blue, kind of turquoisey, turquoisey blue candle holders and that vase. Um, last 
here, I just took this rope and added the seashells to it. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that. And then I just added this little starfish orb, this tiny little beach sign, super cute, and a little sailboat because every ocean needs a boat. And I'm gonna pan back so you can see it. Okay, and here it is all together. That is look number two. Okay guys, that is it. That is look number two. I love this look also. This for a beach girl is so up my alley. I love the beach, I love the ocean, I love everything about summer. I mean everything. I don't know if you've been with me for a while, then you'll know that I am obsessed with the heat and humidity and the beach and like everything to do with summer. Anything and everything to do with summer. The hotter the better. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So this is my second look. I think it has a little bit of neutral in it. It is styled just enough um, to give you that nautical theme. The beach grass kind of ties into the color in the painting. Um, the nautical ropes also pull in the color of the painting and the blue in the sail in the sailboat ties in with the vases and the candle holders. And I think everything just works really, really well together. But I love look number one also. Number one is my favorite. I love neutral decor, easy, easy, neutral, neutral decor, but I also love this. So I've given you guys two looks, two summer looks. Now, you cast the vote, okay? And then after this video, after you cast your vote, that'll determine where my family room goes in the next few videos. So have a fantastic, fantastic Monday. Have a beautiful and blessed, blessed week. Have a wonderful June month coming forward. It is a brand new month, beautiful month ahead of us. Um, our, our stores and our jobs are coming back. Hopefully you'll be uh, working. I'm working a little bit. Uh, my everyday full-time job is not open yet, so that's a little taxing still on me, but we're getting there, we're getting there. And uh, hopefully you guys are also, I wanna tell all my subscribers how much I love you. Thank you very much for all your love and support. Thank you for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope we gave you lots and lots of inspiration for our Monday. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Love you guys. Bye, guys.